Hi, it's Sherry from Watch Learn Eat. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the most popular recipes on our blog, creamy dairy-free mashed potatoes. So I know what you're thinking, how on earth could mashed potatoes be creamy if there's no dairy in them? No milk? No butter? Well, I'll tell you. First secret is chicken broth. Definitely helps make them creamy and delicious. But then I have another surprise. This is the one that takes it over the top to the next level. Dun, 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 dun. Mayonnaise. Okay, don't turn it off. Before you think I'm crazy, I promise these are super delicious. The first thing you're going to do to get started is peel your potatoes. I usually peel mine into a scrap bowl. Once you've finished peeling all of your potatoes, the next step is going to be to cube them. What you want to do when you cube them is to make sure they're all approximately the same size. Doing that ensures that they cook evenly. Once the potatoes are cut, add them to a large pot. Once the potatoes are in the pot, add cold water until the water covers the potatoes by about one inch. Now bring the potatoes to a boil. Once the potatoes start boiling, reduce the heat to a low rolling boil. The potatoes will be done after approximately 15 to 20 minutes when they are fork tender. Be careful not to overcook or the potatoes will become too starchy and nobody wants that. Once the potatoes are done cooking, drain them in a colander and then return them to the pot. Now add the chicken broth and blend with an electric hand mixer. Now it's time to add our star ingredient, mayonnaise. Make sure we get it all. And then we're going to add our seasonings, which include dried parsley, white pepper, and kosher salt. Okay, we're gonna stir all those in. Make sure that everything is evenly distributed. Okay, and then we're gonna give it one last whip to make sure there are no more chunks. But while you're whipping, you wanna make sure that you don't over whip or else your potatoes will be too gluey. And just like we don't want them too starchy, we don't want them too gluey either. Once you've finished mixing, now it's time to taste them. So get a big heaping spoonful and enjoy. Mm. Super delicious, super creamy. You'll never even realize there's no milk or butter in these. I'm telling you, you'll love them. Go to watchlearneat.com for the full recipe. Enjoy.